99 career homers. We'll see if this is the moment to notch number 100. Liner to second and picked on the hop. Sends it to first. One up, one down. Here is Yohan Moncada. Late swing fouled off. Moncada getting to start at third, batting second in today's lineup, and he was born in Cuba. That one fouled off. Outside of the United States, Cuba has more players and representatives in Cooperstown than any other country. Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic are close behind. Next one misses, now one and two. And now it's even up. It's a good take. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. And now it's Luis Robert. Beautiful swing in his last at bat. Opposite field knock. Fouled off down the right side. And yeah, the lefty with the 0-1. There's a swing and a drive. Way back there. And he makes the catch on the track. Just missed a... And welcome back. On to the fourth. Digging in. Jorge Mateo. There's a strike. He's been very consistent with his command out there on the mound. Consistently throwing at the knees. Pretty impressive when a guy can repeat his delivery like this. Bunting, and it's right in front of the plate. Throw to first is in time. Beats him to the bag for an out on the bunt. Frazier batting for the second time, and that's strike one. That one finds the zone. No balls, two strikes. All right, now, he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls, but at this point, he's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone. On the ground, and that chance handled. Over to first, Frazier retired. So two down now, and here is Ramon Urias. Knocks it down. But in time, nice job to stay with it to end the inning. Back here at the ballpark, bottom of the inning. Now it's the DH, Aloy Jimenez. And first offering is fouled off. And a swing and a miss. Here comes a pitch. That's the ball. On the ground, right side. And that one finds its way through. Off to a good start with a leadoff knock. And the batter now, Jake Berger. Showed a really nice opposite field approach in his last at bat. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Swings through that. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. This to third. Can't glove it cleanly. Andrew Vaughn now. He's 0 for 1. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Jimenez on second. Berger at first with no outs. Swing and a ball popped up. Frazier makes the grab one away. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but competitor like him he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat two on one out here's the left fielder Andrew Ball. Oh, this one high and deep way back there 
Up onto the patio and out of here. He'll touch them all. His second of the year. It's 3-0. gets pitch recognition early he saw exactly where that was going to be the challenge not get over anxious and come out of your swing he stayed on it and got all of it one down here's the catcher Yasmani Grandal and a foul ball kicks and fires and a swing and a miss. Not a swing you want to watch again. Still only one out here in the inning. Just off the inside edge. Really good take, especially with two strikes. The wind and the pitch. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. One down, base is empty. Foul off the plate. They'll do it again. This to center field. McKenna moving under this one. Brings it in. Out number two. Two outs. Base is empty. Here's Elvis Andrews. And yeah, that's outside. Ripped on a line to center. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that is that. Three-run bomb for the White Sox. It's now 3-0. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Welcome back. Here's Ryan Mountcastle. And here it comes. He swings and misses at the oh, first pitch. 0-1. Oh, well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Santander, batting with one down, oh, no. takes a strike. Oh, just missed. Oh. And the righty deals. That one's in there. It's a ball and two strikes. Well, you can't really adjust your game plan for that last pitch. Guy hasn't thrown it very much. You got to focus on the stuff that he's throwing up there most of the time. He goes down looking. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher are on the same page right now. Two outs, base is empty. Now here is James McCann. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. that one hooked foul now this offense has just been locked down almost five full innings of shutout baseball that one oh. missed one and two and it's even up great job of laying off those pitches down in the zone to even the count up at two and two such a better feeling for the hitter got it by him for the K here on the south side, John Chami with my buddy Chris Singleton. It's set to get us started. Bottom five, Tim Anderson. Shot back to the mound, and he gloves it. Tosses to first, and yeah, they take care of Anderson for the out. Here is Moncada. Hit on the ground to the right side. And that one handled, gathers, and throws to first. And a couple of quick outs. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. Foul ball there. The 0 1. On the ground, right side, and he grabs it. Foul.
And ball one. 0 2 pitch that far out of the zone gives the hitter a little confidence that maybe he can climb back into this at bat. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Bounce to the right. The throw to first. And that is the inning. Back here on the south side. Now the left fielder, Kyle Stowers. And first offering is fouled off. And the right hander deals. There's a strike. And it really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. So digging in, Colton Kowser. Up the middle. Throws to first. Two quick outs to open the top of the sixth. Two outs, base is empty. Here's a speed threat. Ryan McKenna in there, and it's 0-1. I always remember watching Johan Santana pitch, and when he was in his prime, you would see a lot of guys out in front, right-handers pulling that change up in the stands, and then fouling the fastball the opposite field up into the stands. Just outside. It's a ball and two strikes. Just could not get in. Ah, threw it by him. A swing and a miss at the fastball to end the inning. Keegan Aiken on the pitch out of the pen here. This is his fifth appearance of the year. And he deals. Jimenez up to hit for the third time as he lays off inside ball one. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Danny Coulomb getting loose out there. Line drive. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. Jake Berger digs in now. That one ripped right center field. That's back there. And it one hops the wall. It's a double. Third hit of the night for him. First pitch swing in. Went up there with a the plan to be aggressive. A well-deserved double on a great swing. Got everything going on time. He stayed balanced and he squared it up about as well as you could possibly ask. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. Runner leads away at second and delivers outside. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Berger rounds third, headed for the plate. Just ahead of the throw, he scores. And it's 4 0. Comes through with the RBI. Wasn't able to elevate that one, but he sure hit it hard enough to get through the infield. There's not a whole lot of time for the defenders to react and try to make a play when it's ripped like that. Man at second with one away. Andrew Benintendi up to the plate. He's already homered in this game. Line drive. That's a base hit out of the left center field. Vaughn around third. He'll score easily, and the lead is up to five. He was all over that one. First pitch fastball in a great spot to do some damage, and he squared it up nicely. <laughs> Yasmani Grandal up to hit. One for two. Slapped foul. Now a screamer into the outfield. Lays out and makes the play. He takes a huge gamble right there. If that ball gets by him, the run scores easily from second, and the hitter maybe ends up on third. But a great job, excellent focus on the dive, and he robbed extra bases on that one. Elvis Andrews steps to the plate for the White Sox. And fouled off. 
Benintendi on its second with two down. The next offering misses. And now it's even one and one. That to right. Makes the grab. And that is that. They get top of inning number seven. Here's the designated hitter for the Orioles, Jorge Mateo. Splits the plate, and that is strike one. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. Swings and misses. So he's gotten deep into this game. And at least so far, not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. Up the middle, Andrews. On to first, Frazier retired. And next for the Orioles, Ramon Urias. Into the outfield base hit. And that keeps the inning alive. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. The tag, and that's out number three, inning over. We're back in a new picture here to start the bottom of the seventh. Kyle Bradish. And with the big deficit on the scoreboard, he almost has to just put that out of his mind. Every out he matters for relievers and their numbers, but I think it's tough to get up for this type of appearance the same way you would for one in a close game. And that's a double. Well, he waited until the seventh, but that's the knock that'll extend his hitting streak. Siggy, how much does it weigh on your mind when you're coming to the plate in the late innings with a streak going? Yeah, quite a bit. And a hitter's supposed to say he's only focused on the current at bat. But, man, honestly, it's hard not to know that if you don't come up with the hit, your streak's over. So it's there, at least in the back of your mind. And here is Yoan Moncada. Swing and a miss. Oh, one That's strike, strike one. The pitch. He swings and fouls one off. Anderson leads off second with nobody out. In the air, out towards left center. Stowers makes the grab, one down. Luis Robert will hit next. And that's in there for strike one. Some guys are just more confident if they can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Definitely not going to make his highlight tape. Next pitch misses, and that's ball one. Tapped softly on the ground. Frazier tosses to first, and they take care of Robert for the out. Deloy Jimenez now. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Yeah, I don't think anyone's got good numbers swinging at pitches in that location. That misses the zone, and it's a ball and a strike. Runner at third, two away. Base hit and a run in to score. Well, Singy, he is locked in there. Well, he's really slowed the game down, and it's like he's moving in full speed, and everybody is a step or two behind. The way that he squared up that baseball tells me that he has seen it like a beach ball. And up next for Chicago, Jake Berger. Really good piece of hitting last time, going to the opposite field.
in the air fairly deep to right field makes the grab and that'll end the inning back at guaranteed rate field we go to the eighth stepping in Ryan Mountcastle line the other way that's a fair ball and down the right field line and towards that corner and he's got a double well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Anytime you really And now Anthony Santander. There's a strike. If you're going to get something going, this is the time to do it. You get the leadoff man on. Everybody's got to look over the shoulder and say, I'm just going to keep the line moving. Don't try to do too much. That just misses. It's a ball and two strikes. And that's outside. Mountcastle at second with nobody out. Santander tries to check his swing. Now will look to third. And he couldn't hold back. He's rung up on strikes. James McCann in now. That one's in there, 0 and 1. pitch that's foul off to the right side keeps the AB going and the pitch and that's downstairs and outside and now the count is even really nice slider right there sweeping across the dish but just couldn't hang the edge runner at second here one gone goes down looking and into the box for Baltimore, Kyle Stowers. That one's in there. Strike one. And downstairs. Swing and a miss. And it's one and two. Runner at second, two down. Swing and a miss. And he is down on strikes for the third straight. Bottom of the eighth, and now the first baseman, Andrew Vaughn. The first baseman. And a pitch. And it's fouled away. The pitch. Swings through that one out in front that time. And now one and two. And now two and two. Well, this is a guy that can be frustrating for pitchers because he fouls off so many pitches and grinds out the at-bat. I'm sure there's some times where a pitcher would rather just give up a first pitch single than have to waste six or seven pitches on one hitter. Ben Intendi to the plate. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Ben Intendi, the former first-round pick, Golden Spikes Award winner. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. He was really trying to stay back for something off speed. That's why he was so tardy on that swing. In the air, out towards right center. McKenna on his way over, squeezes it, and there's two down. Two out, space is empty. Now the batter now, Yasmani Grandal. Bounced up the middle. Slings to first, and that is that. Welcome back. All set to start the ninth in this one. Now it's going to be Colton Kowser. That's a strike. To the right side, Andrews gets it to first, and they get the leadoff man in the ninth. So next to hit for Baltimore, Ryan McKenna. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Robert moves under it. Snags it for the second out. Jorge Mateo now. 
And there's the strike. That misses off the outside edge. And one and two. Doubled up on the slider away. Two seamer here. Let's watch and see. And a swing and a miss. And that is the ball game. It has become increasingly difficult to throw a complete game shutout because of all of the offensive prowess that these hitters are showing around the league today. But he had total command of this game, and he saw it all the way through to the end. Nice win. 6 nothing is how this one ends. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. Talk to you soon.